Do you know the test procedure of cargos that may liquefy? In this video, I'll show you how to test the moisture content of cargos using can test and the lab test by an Indian guy at Dhamrapur. So, coming up. Concentrates or other cargoes which may liquefy shall only be accepted for loading when the actual moisture content of the cargo is less than its transportable moisture limit. Notwithstanding this provision, such cargoes may be accepted for loading on special constructed or fitted cargo ships even when their moisture contents exceed the transportable moisture limit. There are recognized international and national methods for determining moisture contents of various materials. According to the Appendix 2 of IMSBC code, there are three methods of testing for the transportable moisture limit in general use. The number one, flotable test. Number two, penetration test. Number three, proctor or figure wise test. But the selection of the test methods should be determined by the local practice or by the appropriate authorities. According to the section 8.4 of IMSBC code, a ship's master may carry out a check test for approximately determining the possibility of flow on board ship or at the dock site by can test. Half fill a cylindrical can or similar container half to one liter capacity with a sample of material. and there should be a photographic evidence for every step. Take the can in one hand and bring it down sharply to strike a hard surface such as a solid table from a height of about 0.2 meter. Repeat the procedure 25 times at 1 or 2 seconds intervals. Examine the surface for free moisture or fluid conditions. If free moisture or a fluid condition appears, arrangement should be made to have additional laboratory tests conducted on the materials before it is accepted for loading. Now we can see there is no moisture flow on the surface or it's not like a cake. So this is an apparatus by which we will take a lab test. This is a white machine. These are the iron ball for mixing the materials. At first, you need to put the iron ball inside the apparatus. Subtract the weight of the sample container for measuring the materials. About 6 gram materials has to be taken. Then one sample spoon of calcium carbide has to be taken. I asked the guy, he said the amount of calcium carbide a bit more than the sample materials. Now close the apparatus tightly. Then jerk it for proper mixing and look at the gas meter. Instantly it will show how much moisture content. Go 
through the IMSB support for the particular sample of cargo or the shipper manifest and check it out how much transportable moisture limit. If the moisture content is more than its transportable moisture limit, then stop the loading of cargo and go for further action. I hope this video has given you some knowledge. If so, please subscribe my channel, like, comment and share more and more so that people can get some knowledge. See you next time.